Uh, the adventure <laughs> correspondent joins us live from Isleton with more. I know you love succulents. Well, you know I love my succulents. <laughs> and uh, when Jennifer Bodo reached out to us and said, hey, we have kind of an interesting hobby. We put these succulents in pieces of driftwood that we find in the Delta. I said, we got to come see that. So we are in Isleton this morning, and I'm here with Jennifer. Good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, so you and your friend Gus have been working together for years to create these really beautiful pieces. And I got to show you, some of these you're literally taking right out of the river and then stuffing it with soil and starting the succulent. So, what inspired that is so cool. you to do this? Uh, well, I'd, I'd put all my plants in his backyard and he said, we need to get rid of some of these. So, <laughs> <laughs> we started preparing some of these to take and sell. Yeah. yeah. And you haven't yet started selling these. So, I can, I can tell you after being on Good Day, I'm sure people looking at these are going to go, okay, we want some. Um, but he does the woodwork. So, he kind of does a unique feature on some of these. Yeah, the carving of the face. As he does, because many years ago he he did a totem pole. He lived like next door, uh -huh. and he you know had three faces on it, and it was beautiful. Yeah. So I knew he could do that. <laughs> so you thought, why don't I just add some plants to it? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I can imagine it's pretty therapeutic. How long does it take you, and and do you kind of decide which plant goes in which piece based on what it looks like? Yeah, more or less. What needs to you know we try a few different ones sometimes. Yeah. You know before we get the one that looks right. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I asked, I was like, well, are these succulents ever going to get too big for their space, right? Because these little guys are kind of sitting in these perfectly shaped holes. And you said what? Well, they'll stay there for quite a while, but if they get, they will get root bound eventually. So yeah. you could just take them out and replace them with another one, a smaller one. Yep. But usually succulents kind of stay the size that they they're are, right? Yeah, that their containers are, you know. Okay. They'll, Grow not too big. They won't. They won't die because of it. You know, right. for okay. a long time to come. <laughs> so cool. And then this might be something that you think, yes, yeah, succulents can survive in the hot summer sun. But it is important if you get a clipping from someone, if you're getting one from the store. There's kind of something you need to do before you put it in direct sunlight. Yeah. Well, you want to keep it shaded for a while till it comes. You know, comfortable with the habitat, the new place that it's in, because otherwise they'll fry. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good to know. I'm learning a lot right now about succulents. Okay. So coming up in the next hour, we are or the next half hour. I'm actually going to help make a little succulent with uh, Jennifer because she's going to teach me how to use some of the driftwood. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Perfect. And how can people get a hold of you? She's not selling them yet, but I want people to be able to find um, you, you when you do. Find me on Facebook under Jennifer Bordeaux, or okay. uh, um, I guess it's probably the only place really I don't yeah. want to give out my phone number. Yeah. On no. TV. Of course not. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Well, you can look her up, Jennifer Bordeaux, and. Of course, when she does start to make this more of a business, we're going to let y'all know on Good Day. But coming up, we're going to learn how to put this in driftwood, guys. Back to you. This is so cool. I love the way that it looks.